Hey everybody, it's Trent from the Online Income Lab and in this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction to what I consider to be the most important parts of Google Analytics. Well, there's a ton of information in Google Analytics, actually more than you probably ever, ever could want or need, but there are a few areas that I would consider fairly critical and so we'll just kind of call this video Training 101 and I'm going to go through and show you what those areas are now. So this uh, site that you're looking at here is, in terms of traffic, it's my largest niche website. It's called howtocleananything.com. Um, as you can see, it's bringing in just over a thousand uniques a day. What do we have? 1191 yesterday, 1171 the day before. So obviously one of the first things you're going to want to look at is just how much traffic is your site getting. And then a couple of the key things that I want to pay close attention to here are this thing called bounce rate and average time on site. So bounce rate is the percentage of people that arrive on a given page and then leave the site from that same page in 30 seconds or less. So you want this number here to be as low as possible and so when you're doing your split testing and you're adjusting your content this is one of the numbers that you will want to pay attention to. And then the correlation to that number is going to be average time on site. So for this site, the average visitor is spending one minute and four seconds on the site. And ideally, you want this number to be as high as possible. However, having said that, if it's an AdSense site, if you're using Google AdSense to monetize it, this isn't as important as a number. So for example, with howtocleananything.com, this is an AdSense site. So if they're leaving our site um, because they're clicking an AdSense link, then that's not the worst thing in the world because obviously for that click, I just got paid. So when you're building your site and you're trying to figure out um, how to get more traffic and what traffic uh, or what keywords are important and what content is being looked at, so you'll the, all of that information you can very easily get from Google Analytics. So you'll want to go over to traffic sources and in this section here um, you can find out for example what your top keywords are cleaning cleaning tips how to clean anything how to clean anything and you can actually drill down into the report and find out specifically what those keywords are just by clicking on keywords over here and then the other thing that you can do is click on uh, source so by doing so, you can also figure out which search engines are providing you the most traffic. So you can see with this site, obviously, Google is bringing the lion's share of the traffic in. And if you expand this, you'll be able to see that, you know, there's just tons and tons and tons of keywords. In, the, in this site's case, there's 13,000 different keywords that have at one point or another in the last, uh, this period of time from May 21 to June 20, that brought traffic to the site total of 23,000 visits, average 1.8 pages per visit. So when you have a new site and um, you're adding content to that site, I would be paying very, very close attention to what are the keywords that are currently bringing you traffic to that site. You may want to create more content around those keywords. In some cases, you actually might want to create a whole new site that is targeting one of those keywords because uh, you can see like, for example, perhaps I'd want to click, create a site called cleaningtips.com or cleaningtipshq.com because I'm really getting a lot of traffic. Now in this case, I'm not going to do that, but in this case of a smaller niche site, you will probably find ideas for new niche sites from the traffic to your existing niche sites. Because if, if you see, so for example, your third keyword if you're not ranked number one for that word, if you created a separate niche site for that word, you may be able to get that site ranked number one where, uh, and, and get even more traffic for that keyword than you are just by having that keyword as a, as a uh, related keyword on the niche site that you're dealing with. So uh, that's the keyword bit. And again, there's, there's a lot more here to get into, but I wanna keep this video relatively short and just talk about the kind of the, the basics. So now I know what keywords are bringing me my traffic. I know which search engines are bringing me my traffic. Let's have a look at where they're going on the site and 
figure out if, if that can give us any more information about what type of content. So a couple of things here you can see your top content. So the home page uh, is getting approximately 23% of the views. And then these here are all just posts. So you can go and drill down a little deeper into top content. Uh, you've got top landing pages, top exit pages. So let's have a look at top landing pages and see what we have here. So here now you're able to see each of the individual posts or pages that are bringing in the bulk of that traffic. So where this is going to be useful is you may want to look at that particular page and find out are there additional ways perhaps that you might be able to monetize that page. Should you be adding additional opt-in forms, for example, to your mailing list if you're using the site to build a mailing list, which with this site uh, we're not currently, but we're going to be very soon. So it gives you an idea of what it is that people are looking at. And then you can drill a little deeper, of course, and you can figure out you know, how many visitors per day are coming to that page. Um, you can see that the time on page is very, very high. Um, so there's a whole lot more information here that you can get. So those are the, the main basics uh, that I would suggest you pay attention to. Your overall traffic, what keywords and what search engines are bringing you that traffic, what pages on the site are they looking at, um, and that'll give you a real good idea of where your site needs additional development. Then once you've done that, you'll want to go in and probably set up some goals. And I'm going to be covering analytics goals in a future blog post. So if you're watching this video on YouTube um, and you want to be able to see that future post, be sure to come on over to onlineincomelab.com and either join the mailing list or subscribe to the RSS feed or simply subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll be uh, receiving an automatic notification of when the next free training video goes up. So that's it for today. I hope that you have found this basic Google Analytics training helpful. And if you do have comments or questions and you're on the Online Income Lab website, please do submit those questions below in the comments field. I read every single one of them. I love receiving your comments and you can rest assured I will definitely post an answer to the question that you've got. And uh, so I look forward to seeing what those are.